Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video or welcome if you're new. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin and I'm a mom of two. I have a six year old little girl and I recently just gave birth to my son who is two and a half months old. Today I'm going to be sharing my postpartum morning routine which includes my new workout regimen, a quick and easy breakfast and meal prep and some much needed self care. I've also partnered with Copilot for today's video and I can't wait to tell you guys all about them and how they've been helping me reach my postpartum fitness goals of 2023. If you are also postpartum, I hope this video helps motivate you and inspires you to be the best version of yourself for the new year. And without further ado, let's jump on into today's video. Okay, so I'm going to be totally honest and transparent. Not every day is perfect. Some days I eat fast food, some days I miss workouts, some days I'm so tired all we do is lay in bed, but I am consistently trying to move my body more, eat foods that will energize me and help with my milk production since I am exclusively breastfeeding, and prioritize myself because moms are important too. But not all days look like this. I have a new baby and our routine is still very rough to say the least. So if you are a postpartum mom watching this video thinking, how does she do it all? Please don't think that because today was a good day, but not all days look like this. Anyways, my baby was last up around 4 a.m. for a feeding, so he went back to sleep, which was wonderful. I was able to catch a few more hours of sleep, and then I got myself up and wanted to curl my hair today. I had washed it the night before, and when I curl my hair, it usually lasts for a few days. So I wanted to do that this morning before I got my daughter up for school, and I also put on a little bit of makeup, did my skincare routine, and all the things to get myself ready for the day. If I don't do it now, it's probably not gonna happen. So I try to do this first thing in the morning if I have a few minutes. Before I make myself a cup of coffee every morning, I try to drink a cup of water. I just seriously chug it just to get it in me. So it's the first thing that I have. And I'll fill up my water cup later because I do have a water cup that I drink throughout the day. But this just helps me get hydration in right away. It's so important to not only stay hydrated for your health, but also when you are breastfeeding. So again, our mornings are always so different. This is just what today looks like. Sometimes the baby's awake with me um, and up. Sometimes he's still sleeping like he is today. Sometimes my husband gets my daughter ready for school. Sometimes I get her ready for school, but I do prefer to be the one who gets my daughter up and ready for school. That's always been our routine. And ever since the baby came, I really tried to stick to that routine just for her sake. So not too much changed. So this morning was awesome because I was able to give her my full attention, get her up for school, get her dressed, do her hair. So after I got my daughter up and ready for school, I took her to school and we went on a scooter ride. We used to do this so much and we've been doing it a lot more recently now that I don't have a big old belly. I can ride scooters with her again and she loves the fact that we do this. So we took scooters to school, got outside a little bit. It was a rainy, dreary day, but um, definitely enjoyed this time with her. Also, the baby was home with my husband. He was still sleeping, so I didn't want to wake him up, but sometimes I'll bring the baby in the stroller with me and we'll go on a walk after I drop Scarlett off at school or something like that. It just, again, kind of depends on the day. But this morning he was just sleeping so good. But anyways, when I got home, I got my baby up and got him changed and I fed him. And the first thing I wanted to do this morning was get a workout in. So that is my goal, get the baby taken care of and then it's time for some me time and time for my workout. A question I get a lot is how do I have the energy to be consistent with like working out, eating healthy, all those things. And honestly, it you know, it is hard some days, but I try to really focus on the actions that I can take and what I can be in control of every day. And that is moving my body more and eating healthy foods. That's kind of what I focus on. I'm not really focusing on losing baby weight or numbers on a scale or anything like that. I'm just trying to do what I can throughout the day to be the best me. Good morning. I just had a blowout all over me. So I had to change my leggings 
and got him dressed and ready for the day. Anyways, I feel a lot more awake than I did a little bit ago. It is roughly 8.30, actually it's almost nine. I just got done feeding him and then he had his blowout, like I said, changed him. Now we're gonna start the rest of our morning, but first I want to get a workout in. So I started using Copilot for my workouts back in December when I turned six weeks postpartum. That was the week that I started. And yes, Copilot is an app, but it's way more than just an app. It's an affordable fitness coach app. So I have my own online trainer who creates workouts tailored to me, specifically postpartum. Since I did just have a baby two months ago, it was important to me that my coach um, kind of understood postpartum and the way your body changes. So it was important to me to have like a workout regimen that was tailored to postpartum. My coach Heidi has been wonderful. I met with her initially, I think I was like five weeks postpartum at the time and we just had like a Zoom call. We kind of talked about goals, we kind of talked about like my birth and um, you know, what I was hoping to get out of co-pilot. You're being no noisy today, huh? <laughs> But based off of that conversation, she put together workouts tailored to my needs and I'm doing three workouts a week. I told her that I enjoy weights and we have that equipment at home. So she was able to add like weights into my workouts, but you don't need equipment. That's the cool thing about it. Like if you don't have any equipment, you don't need to go out and buy equipment. Your coach will work with you and tailor the workouts to what you have at home. So don't think you have to like go out and buy weights or like a workout bench or anything like that. That's honestly why I love them. It's so personal and I think that's really something that I needed. The other thing I really love about Copilot and my coach specifically is that she asked me at the beginning, she was like, how, how do you like to be motivated? And I'm like, I need you to hold me accountable. I need you to check in with me and I need you to, you know, make sure I get my workouts done. And she's like, okay, got it. She definitely holds me accountable and I so appreciate that because there's days where I miss my workouts. I'm definitely not per perfect with them, but I will say I'm on week five, I think, and I have done my three workouts every single week. If I miss a day, I just make it up the next day or something like that. But yeah, if I miss my workout, I can expect a text from my coach within 24 hours saying, hey, like, saw you missed your workout. Let's really work on getting that, that workout in today. And some people might not like that, but I love that and I so appreciate that. With this postpartum workout journey, I really need accountability and sometimes it's hard to have like self accountability. So just having somebody else in my corner who encourages me and motivates me to get my workouts in has been so awesome. But I'm gonna try to get this workout in. I think today's only a 25 minute workout, so it's a pretty short one. Um, my husband's home as well, so if I need him to come take the baby, he can definitely come help me, but I think we can handle it. What do you think? What do you think? You gonna play and watch mama work out? I am going to do my workout in the living room today. I honestly prefer going to the gym. I really miss going to the gym, but that's just not the phase of life I'm in right now. So living room workouts, it is. So my husband has these um, really awesome Bowflex weights. This is what I use for my workouts. Why is there a dog bone right there? <laughs> Indeed. But you can literally just like turn them to be the weight that you want. I typically um, do a 10 pounds. So with Copilot, you use their app and it actually connects to your Apple Watch as well. So you're able to really work out hands-free, but here's what my workout looks like today. Um, you can see all the exercises and I'm gonna go ahead and start my workout. It's gonna connect to my watch and then it'll literally walk me through um, like each exercise. It'll show you on the screen how to do it in case you're unfamiliar and I can control everything through my watch. This week's workouts are slightly different. My coach has been changing them up a little bit just depending on like my feedback because you are able to give feedback after you complete a workout and based off of how I'm um, progressing with the workouts. So this one was slightly new for me and I really enjoyed it. Something too I wanna mention is I noted how I prefer to go to the gym. Once I do transition back to the gym and not my living room, I will still be able to do these workouts at the gym and my coach will be able to tailor those workouts for me and I'll probably be able to use more equipment and all of that. So I wanted to mention that if you are somebody else who likes to go to the gym, definitely an option as well. But I really enjoy the human connection that I get through Copilot. I've always wanted to have um, like some kind of coach or trainer or something like that. And and it truly has made a huge difference in my recovery and postpartum workout journey. I think it's important as a postpartum mom to 
really prioritize yourself and one way to do that is by exercising and putting your health first. I enjoy working out. I always did um, prior to getting pregnant, but it's a really great way for me to mentally clear my mind. Even though workouts look a little bit different these days, it's not quite as relaxing. It's definitely still really good for my mental health. And on top of that, I want to be strong and I want to be able to keep up with my kids. Anyways, I have really been loving Copilot and I think you guys will too. You can click my Copilot link down below in the description box to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. It's never too late to invest in your health and invest in yourself. And this is a great way to get started. Okay, I'm in my stretching phase right now. I'm done with the workout. It's always followed by some kind of stretch. But another thing I really love about Copilot is that through your Apple Watch, it actually analyzes the motion. So if I'm going too fast or something, the app will recognize it. Yeah, switch. And it'll tell me to slow down with my movements. It'll tell me to like not go, like bring the weight so high or something like that. It just really keeps me in check and I really appreciate that. When you're done with your workout, you're able to rate it. So if you liked the workout, great. This just gives feedback to your coach. If you have something you wanna add um, or let your coach know, you can type it right here. It also tell you what muscles were used during this workout, the duration, it took me 38 minutes, I burned 210 calories, my heart rate peaked at 170, it was averaging 125 during the workout. It's very important for me to make sure I'm fueling my body with healthy and nutritious foods and making sure I get an adequate amount of calories every day since I am exclusively breastfeeding. These overnight oats have been so delicious. I have been prepping these for a few weeks now just to keep in the fridge and they're really easy to just pull out and eat as a snack or eat as a quick breakfast. I'm going to show you guys how I make these. I am going to be doing a little bit of meal prepping today because I am on my last overnight oat. So I'm going to make some more, um, but I do like to top them with fresh strawberries or bananas. Those are always my go-to. The cool thing about overnight oats is there's seriously a million different recipes on Pinterest. So if you have a flavor preference, definitely check that out. I prefer to have like a chocolatey, cinnamony, sometimes peanut buttery <laughs> flavor. Um, that's kind of what I tend to go to. Here is what the oats ended up looking like after I added all the toppings and they are so delicious. I seriously cannot recommend these enough. Every time I make these, I always get asked if you eat these cold or if you eat them hot. You definitely could warm them up, but I always just eat them straight out of the fridge. They are super delicious. The texture doesn't bother me and I actually prefer to eat them cold. But oatmeal has a high iron content, which can be very good for breastfeeding, which is a reason that I eat these so often, but these are also just a really good healthy option to have in your fridge. So here is how I make my overnight oats. I do a half cup of oat milk, a half cup of oats, and then I add a tablespoon of chia seeds, a little bit of honey. I just kind of pour it to my liking. And then same with the cinnamon and the cacao powder, I just pour them in. I would say maybe like half a tablespoon of each, I don't know. I kinda just dump and go. But anyways, you're just gonna pour everything together in a mason jar or some kind of container that you can easily store them in. I really prefer mason jars and I bought these off of Amazon and they are so beautiful and so perfect for overnight oats. I'll make sure to leave a link to them in the description box. But yeah, just pour everything together and then give it a good shake and shake everything up. Then you're just gonna wanna pop those in the fridge, let them sit for like, I don't know, four to six hours at least. I usually do mine overnight, hence the name overnight oats and they will last in your fridge for a few days. Then you can just add fresh toppings to them when you're ready to eat them and they are good to go. Next, I am going to take my vitamins before I forget. I am currently just taking a prenatal and probiotic by Mary Ruth's, and then I also take vitamin D. I'm always deficient in vitamin D, so this is something I've been taking forever. Um, sometimes I also take calcium and magnesium. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling.
and this is actually about an hour later. I know I just ate overnight oats, but um, I was definitely ready for a snack. Breastfeeding and working out makes you so hungry. I'm having a Body Armor Light. The peach mango flavor is so good. And then I'm also eating a Power Crunch Bar. These do have 13 grams of protein, so not the highest count of protein for a protein bar, but it is protein and these are so good. This one seriously tastes like a Thin Mint cookie. And something else I do love about Copilot, by the way, is my coach has set up for me a way to track my protein intake and also my water intake. It's just a good little reminder for me. So I check these off throughout the day and make sure I'm getting an adequate amount of water and protein into my diet. And to end my morning today, we are going on a walk. I do try to walk with my baby at least once a day. It's just good for both of us. I get some cardio in and he gets some outside time in. Today I walked about a mile. I would have walked longer, but Benny was over being in the stroller. So we decided to make it a short walk today, but I am glad we got some outside air and um, definitely glad we got in some cardio, but that is going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my postpartum routine looks like for the morning. If you have any questions at all, please make sure to list them down below in the comments. If you're new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. And of course, do not forget to check out Copilot. Again, you can click my Copilot link down below in the description box to get a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.